this video, I'll be talking about the recent changes in terms of the colleges that will no longer be eligible for post-graduation work permits starting September 1st, 2024. You may be wondering, oh, the college that I've applied for, is it going to be eligible or what are some of the college lists? Okay. So what I would do in this video is to show you the list of such colleges that are no longer going to be eligible for uh, post-graduation work permits. Now, specifically, what you said is that public colleges, sorry, private colleges that are operating under the license of a public college, you know, will no longer be eligible for a post-graduation work permit. Let me explain what that means, okay? Now, this doesn't really affect public colleges. It, those private colleges that they don't really, they have their own um, set of programs that they do, but there may be specific programs in that particular uh, college that, you know, there is a public college that is, that they are working under the license. Let's, let me give an example. Let's say um, um, college ABC, okay? Uh, in the later part of the video, I will give you the list of the colleges. I just want to give an illustration so that you understand what they actually mean. Let's say college ABC is a private college. Of course, they are not going to be eligible for a post-graduation work permit. Now, that college ABC will do a collaborative program with the, let's say, University of Alberta, or let's, say, uh, let, let, let's use college, right? Let's say they do a collaboration with Mohawk College, for example, or Georgian College, or uh, Humber College, or South College, or, you know, a Gold Queen College, any of those colleges, right? So, because they are affiliated to those particular um, college, those specific programs will not be eligible for post-graduation work permit. That has been the rule. There's really no nothing to worry about, you know, if because I know a lot of you, my followers, I know, uh, I've always talked about the fact that if you if you have plans to stay, you shouldn't even be thinking about applying for any private colleges in Canada, apply for public colleges. So that when you graduate, you will be eligible. So uh, whether you do on, on, on everybody is still eligible for, for public institutions, right? Uh, colleges and universities are still eligible. If you are doing bachelor's degree, you are still eligible yeah, for postgraduate work permit. If you're doing a two years diploma program, you're still eligible. If you're doing a postgraduate diploma certificate or wherever, you're still eligible for a postgraduate work permit, provided your program is more than eight months, but it must be done in a public college or university. So what I'll do now, I'll go to my computer. I will show you the list of those private colleges. They are mostly in Ontario that have uh, maybe a public college that is operating inside them, okay? So it's just a collaborative uh, project. And before I show you those lists or those videos, if you kind of want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I do have a mentorship program. Uh, where you can kind of contact me one on one and uh, ask questions about your admission or visa application and all that. There's going to be a link in the description. Check out the link, and then uh, there's going to, be, there's going to be a procedure to book a one on one consultation. And then I'll be glad to look at your situation, your condition, and then give you the best suggestions. So right now, I'll go straight to my computer and show you those colleges that you should consider avoiding. If your goal is to stay in Canada after graduation, just go on Google and type designated learning institutional list and click on it. And then, uh, you go all the way to Ontario, okay? Choose the province Ontario because most of the colleges are located there. So I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Uh, here you can see, um, uh, the name of the college, the DLI number. The city where it's located, if they offer post graduation permit or not. Okay. The first one I'm going to talk about is going to be ELAC uh, International. Okay. ELAC International College. So they partner with uh, Fanshawe College and also Georgia College. Okay. Now, originally, this ELAC uh, International uh, College, okay, uh, International College Limited, whatever. In Toronto, they don't, I'm just going to put slides up here so that it be easy for you. So this particular college here, they don't offer post-graduation work permit, but the particular 
campus at Funshaw College, they are eligible for post-graduation work permit. The Ila College and Georgian College, they are they are eligible. So this is not Funshaw College itself, and this is not Georgian College itself. So if you are applying to Ila College and uh, they're telling you, oh, don't worry, we offer post-graduation work permit eligible programs because the, the of the campus that is located at Funshaw and Georgian College, moving forward, that particular this particular college that is the, that is offering this program at Funshaw and Georgia College will no longer be eligible for post graduation work permits. Now the next one is going to be uh, Trios uh, College. Okay, so Trio College. Let's look. Let's look at it. If you go all the way down, you discover that Trios College originally they don't offer post graduation work permit. When I'm in Brampton, Hamilton, in different cities in Ontario, they don't offer post graduation work permit. So no, no, no. But the um the the particular college that is uh the one at Mohawk College, okay, you know, Mohawk College, um then that is affiliated affiliated with Mohawk College, okay, they offer post graduation work permit. Okay. And the 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 South College of Applied Arts at Trios College, okay, they offer a post graduation work. So I think this one means, uh, in that college, uh, maybe I may have invested it, you know. So it, it can mean either way around. Either the 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 specific, uh, for example, like this at uh, Trios College or Trios College, uh, they may have the a collaboration. Uh, of the um, in the South College in there, okay, for that particular program, if you apply to that program that is affiliated to South College, uh, South College before now, you would be eligible for post graduation work permit. And it is same with the one at Mohawk College. But Mohawk College on their own and South College, they are public colleges and they are eligible for post graduation work permit. So anything. Trios College at Mohawk and also uh, Trios College at um, South College. Please avoid them. Uh, they're no longer eligible for post graduation work permit. The next one is going to be um, CDI College. Okay, CDI College. Now, CDI College, they do have uh, a campus somehow at Algonquin College. Okay, ordinarily, CDI College, they don't offer a one in Toronto, they don't offer post graduation work permit, but the one affiliated to Algonquin College, they offer post graduation work permit. So you may be applying for CDI College and they will tell you, oh, CDI College, you know, um, or Algonquin, Algonquin College that is located at a CDI business, whatever, that they offer work permit. So now, any affiliation of the CDI college will the Agricultural College will no longer be eligible for post graduation work permit starting from September of 2024. The next one is going to be Stanford. Okay, uh, I have the list here Stanford International. Stanford, yeah, Stanford International College. Okay, uh, International College. Now, Stanford International College in Brampton and in Mississauga, they don't offer postgraduate work permit boards. The one at Canada College, they were offering postgraduate work permit. So, so September, no level, no level. They are no longer going to be uh, eligible. So if you're applying to Canada College directly, it's okay. But if it is Canada College at this Stanford International College, then it's not going to be eligible moving forward the next one is going to be is uh is akume is akume academy okay uh is akume academy ordinarily in brampton they don't offer post graduation work permit but if you scroll all the way down and see the one at saint Clair college they offer post graduate work permit so if you just type in saint Clair college uh, St. Clair College itself, they offer post graduation work permit uh, without any affiliation. So don't apply to anyone that is affiliated to Ace Akumen Academy. The other one is going to be um, uh, Trebus. Okay. 
uh, Trebas Institute. So Trebas Institute, they don't offer post-graduation work permit, but the Fleming College that is located at Trebas Institute, uh, yeah, used to be eligible, but moving forward, it will no longer be eligible for post-graduation work permit. You can apply to Fleming College directly. That is not affiliated to Trebas College. You will be just fine. The next one is going to be Toronto uh, Business College. Toronto Business College, okay? Uh, Toronto Business College. Now, the Toronto um, uh, Business College, there's quite a lot of them, okay? There's quite a lot of them. Just ordinarily, um, like Brian Collard of Applied um, Health and Sciences, uh, business and sciences, they are not, you know, eligible. Okay. They are not eligible. Um, but if you scroll all the way down and okay, Crown Brown College is eligible. And so it's, I think I talked about, uh, this, um, Stanford before. Okay. I think I'm just going to skip this one. Canada Red College is fine, but the Stanford International College is no longer going to be eligible for post graduation work permit. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, Canadian College of Technology. And then I'm just going to put in Sheridan, okay? Sheridan College. So the Sheridan College, um, Sheridan College that is located at Canada College of Technology used to be uh, eligible, but moving forward is no longer going to be eligible. But just pure in the one in the fourth area right but the sheridan college in mississauga Brampton, and oakville they are fine they are good you can apply to this college and you will be just good uh the next one is going to be uh cambrian uh they also have uh, one of the private college is also affiliated to them so cambrian college ordinarily is fine okay uh then uh where is it um okay so they don't have this one i'm looking for let me just type the um hansen college okay uh hansen college okay uh hansen college okay so i so i don't see the one Okay, yes, this particular one, this one I'm looking for. Cambrum College at Hansen College, okay? They will no longer be eligible, but Cambrum College fully is fine. So anything, Hansen College of Business, they, they might tell you they are affiliated to Cambrum College, please run, run, run. They will no longer be eligible. Then there's going to be um, Queen's College, okay? Queen's College, um, yes. So Queen's College of Business and Technology, ordinarily, they are not eligible for postgraduate work permit, but the one with uh, that is affiliated to Lambton College, they offer that. Okay, so if you want to apply, you have to go to the college itself, Lambton College. If you go to Queen's College, they may give you an admission to a course that is affiliated to Lambton College from simply but first, no work permit eligible for that. And the last one I'm going to be talking about is going to be Alpha, the Alpha College of Business. Okay? Uh, Alpha College of Business, ordinarily not eligible, but the one that's affiliated to St. Lawrence College that is collaborative, as you can see now, is collaborative, is eligible, but moving forward, is not going to be eligible. So, what I would advise you when applying for a college, or the anyone that says you have to always check this DLI list. If they say is you know campus is located at, just forget about that. Okay, but you can still apply to any of those public colleges. Are okay, Mohawk College is good. Uh, Humber College, Conestoga College, Centennial College, uh, Fleming College, South College, Commodore College, uh, Niagara College. All of those you know big popular colleges, uh, Sheridan College. Algonquin College, uh, yeah, many of those, you know, popular uh, colleges are still okay. You can apply for those ones, but any private colleges that are affiliated to them, don't apply for them. I said you just want to go study them and come back if you want to study and stay. You have to apply for those colleges that are directly, uh, directly, so that you'll be eligible for a postgraduate work permit. 
Um, if you're looking for someone to talk to one on one, if you're still confused about all of this whole thing and you need to talk to someone one on one, I have a one on one mentorship program. I can look at a profile and then guide you and give you some some insight on how to pick schools and you know go about your applications and all that. There's going to be a link in the description. Check the link, you know, reach out to me, and then uh, there's going to be a procedure to when we follow that kind of agreement, and I'll be glad to help you. If you haven't subscribed to this video, to this channel, do it to subscribe. And if you haven't liked this channel, do it to like this channel, uh, to like this video. It will help you, YouTube by going to recommend this video to other people. Another thing is I want to leave you leave in the comment section which college you plan to apply for, okay? And then I'll see if this college is, is good or not. Just put it in the comment section or put in the comment section the stage you are in your application. I'll look at that and give you feedback once again thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video cheers